Daniel Newsom is a fake doctor currently operating in Idaho. Newsom has his fingers in many pies, but right now his principal focus seems to be flogging supplements to cancer patients. It's hard to convey just how ridiculous the qualifications he claims to have are. Let me start by saying that Newsom claims to have no less than seven PhDs and four doctorate degrees. The purpose of a PhD is to allow the holder to progress in academia. Generally speaking, an academic with a PhD will aim to supervise their own students, win funding, and publish research, not endlessly churn out doctoral theses. A second PhD might be awarded if the work is in a significantly different discipline, but Newsom claims to have gained all of his PhDs in medical sciences. In fact, Newsom claims to have far more PhDs than a proposed world record holder of graduate qualifications. When you go to Newsom's website, he doesn't tell you where he got these PhDs from, perhaps it's just hard to keep track at this point. I reached out via his Facebook page and found some more information on his LinkedIn. First up we have the Southern College of Naturopathic Medicine. Robert Morse also attended this college so he's in great company. It's a degree mill issuing doctorate degrees after just two weeks of study. The owner, Gary Axley, ended up in court for this. Next up we have the North American College of Napropathic Medicine. Napropathy seems to be a kind of massage therapy. This college was also run by Gary Axley. I think it's safe to assume that this was not a high quality degree. Newsom claims to have been a professor at the Central States College of Health Sciences. I can't really find any information on this college. Nevertheless, whilst working there as a professor, Newsom found time to graduate with two further degrees in naturopathic medicine and mechanotherapy. If anyone can find a single other graduate from this college, I'd be amazed. Finally, we get to the really strange schools. Newsom now works as an osteopathic general at Pan American University in Nevis, where he claims to have earned even more degrees. This school is a weird kind of mixture. It's a mashup between a diploma mill and a monastic order. When you graduate from Pan Am, I'm honestly not sure if you're supposed to call yourself a doctor, a priest, or a knight. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and by the authority committed to me by the Grand Council of the United Grand Priories, I now create make and confirm you a knight of the grace of our order. Arise. What is missing here and what you will not find are any legitimate qualifications from a real university or college. Just like Robert Morse, Newsom claims to reject mainstream medicine, but he still craves the respect that comes with being a real doctor. So he dresses up in a lab coat, awards himself some PhDs, even though he doesn't seem to understand what the qualification is for, and he calls himself Doc Newsom, and he loves being called Doc. Doc Newsom, who's been involved in a lot of the organic sign of products, developing it. The team that we have in place today, um, one of our favorite friends, doctors, is Doc Newsom. He's really developed some fantastic supplements. Welcome everyone. I am here with Doc Daniel Newsom today. Sir. Let's go ask Doc Newsom right now how to do that. What are... Newsom's thirst for titles and accolades cannot be quenched, and he also claims to be a council member of the Sovereign Grand Council of the Sacred Medical Order of the Knights of Hope a 6th degree black belt in Taekwondo and Kenpo, a priest in the Apostolic Eastern Orthodox Church of the East. I really could go on here. If you're watching this and you're still wondering if perhaps Newsom is telling the truth, I advise you to go look up any of these sacred orders or medical schools. They are pay-to-play organizations. These are qualifications he has bought and not earned. I'm not the only one with this opinion, and in 2005, Newsom was arrested and charged for practicing medicine and chiropractic without a license in Ohio. The police raided his office and took him to jail. Newsom himself admits to this incident, but couldn't help but embellish the details, claiming to have guns held at his head for eight hours. Meanwhile, the police specifically denied drawing their weapons. As I stated at the beginning of this video, Newsom's current focus is selling supplements to people who are sick with cancer. Newsom and his team want you to eat all kinds of things, including bone broth and insect powder. They even want to get your pet on supplements. In support of this endeavor, he releases a lot of videos, so let's take a look at some of the content this scientific genius puts out. What does fulvic acid do? Fulvic acid in our body regulates our body's pH. Okay, ful uh, fulvic acid can bond to 60 times its weight in nutrition and transport it to the cell and even into the the organelles within the cell 
Um, in these two clips, Newsom capitalizes PH incorrectly and pronounces organelles as organelles. These are the kind of mistakes you'd make at high school, and there's more to come. Our entire body is, is made up of uh, three basic components. This is how I, I teach nutrition. Uh, our primary basic component, the one component that we have the highest amount of in our body is water. The next one's dirt. If you look at the periodic table, that's what dirt's made of, and that's exactly what our body's made of. Okay, our body is made of, I tell people the periodic table is the body's ingredient list. Okay, all those different elements are what our body is made of. And if you're missing pieces of, of the puzzle, you're going to get sick. This is just painful to watch. It's not even a good way to explain the composition of the human body to a child. And yet this video is clearly meant for adults. Several elements that appear on the periodic table have only ever been observed in the lab, so they can't possibly be on the ingredient list. The noble gases are also off the list due to their inert nature. In fact, the majority of elements on the periodic table aren't utilized in human biology. If you think I'm being unfair here, Newsom later confirms his insane ingredient list theory. Mercury, on the other hand, is toxic in almost any form. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we haven't discovered what that does in the body, except for break things down and make them go bad. But we, uh, <laughs> we, have, uh, uh, we haven't discovered what exactly it's used for its necessity is for. It has to be necessity because it's on the periodic table, but um, we don't know what that is yet. In this next clip, Newsom claims that macrophages can be seen with the naked eye. This is pure fantasy. Macrophages might be slightly larger than some cells in the body, but there's no way they can be seen without a microscope. Uh, when you dissect a liver, there's these little blue cells. They're big enough for you to see with the naked eye. Okay. And those are the macrophages in the liver. They're, they're actually big, they're cells that are big enough you can actually see them. They look like little sp blue specks. Is that the ones that are the Pac-Men? Yes, exactly. Except these ones are like, you know, pack giants. <laughs> you know, they're massive, massive white blood cells that they're the liver's own immune system. You know, it's, it's, so no! No, God, please, no, 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 no! News dresses up like a doctor and speaks with confidence about human biology. For the casual observer, he might seem quite convincing. Scratch just beneath the surface, however, and you will see a bumbling fool who is animating the hollowed out corpse of real medicine. He can't sell medicines, so he sells supplements. He hasn't been to a real medical school, so he's bought seven PhDs instead. And he can't publish research, so he releases his half-baked ideas through blog posts and YouTube videos. The saddest part of all this is that desperate people will turn to idiots like Newsom and drain their bank accounts to buy his untested formulations of mushrooms, insects, and bones, shortening their own lives in the process. What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! If you enjoyed this video, please like it to make it more visible to other people and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. If you're a supporter of Newsom, please leave a testimonial or insult below. I'll personally respond to every comment.